John, as always, it's so wonderful to get an update on the uranium market with you in general. Everything that's going on in Russia, how is that impacting the uranium market in general right now? Yeah, you know, when the invasion first occurred uh, a year ago, uh, utilities, I think, were a bit of a deer in the headlights. They weren't sure how to respond and what to do. Uh, so they was they took kind of a wait and see attitude. But that wait and see attitude is dissolving away. We are consistently hearing now from the utilities that the Western world, including U.S. Uh, utilities, have got to move away from Russian supply. And so they are looking at contracting with on mining supply for uh, basic feedstock uranium conversion and enrichment they're moving west, they're moving away from Russia. So that's helping to put pressure on the market. And we're enjoying some very good high price contracts because of that. Speaking of long term contracts, John, we loved it on Investor Talk when you were talking about focusing on this objective for the benefit of the long term benefit for both shareholders and you are energy in general. Yeah, we've been very successful at layering in some long term very good price contracts that are uh, give us a very good profit margin on an all-in basis. And um, I like to emphasize when I say all-in, I mean all-in, including corporate GNA, uh, marketing, IR, all of that uh, gives us a good profit. And we're a conservatively run company. Uh, we don't like to dabble in the spot market. We really prefer the long-term markets where we've got stability and uh, that allows us to sink the capital in the ground and know that we're going to get good returns on it for a long time into the future. So we've got 600,000 pounds under contract for a number of years, and that has allowed us to justify the ramp up of production at Lost Creek. And that's what we're uh, dedicated to right now is drilling and constructing and advancing the program. For all of you uranium bugs out there, I hope you heard that. You're, you're basically opening the floodgates, correct, for new production? Yeah. We are, and uh, not even just Lost Creek. We're looking at advancing our second project, uh, Shirley Basin, which is fully licensed. We're going to go ahead and install the monitor well ring there uh, beginning March 1, so very quickly. And that simply will advance our readiness so that we can build that facility out and put it into production uh, very quickly as we layer in additional contracts. So, PDAC, people want to meet you. Are you going to be able, you're so busy right now, are you going to be able to make it to Toronto in March? Yeah, we're going to be there. Uh, we've got a conference room reserved and looking forward to meeting with investors. Uh, if anybody wants to meet, they can sure reach out to me and we'll get something scheduled, but it uh, should be a good event. For more information, go to the UR Energy website, send us an email and we'll get it over to John Cash and the UR Energy team. As always, John, thank you for the update. Thank you, Tracy.